Hello and welcome to Passionately Intrigued Arts. This is Tracy. Uh, I should have been recording a while ago. I forgot that I wanted to record. I got so busy and involved in what I was doing, I forgot to start recording. So anyway and anyhow, I haven't gotten too far, but I wanted to um, try those dominoes over again because uh, the other ones look like, what do they look like? What did I do with them? They don't look like marble to me. Um, and my client wanted the marble texture, marble look, uh, black and white. These look more like, I want to say cow, but hold on. I don't know, just black and white splatter or <laughs> look like I did the outside. I made a, I covered this up with a print that I found, a background on Google, but I try to match it to these. Let me take them out because I don't want them to fall on the work that I'm doing. They're cute, they're nice, but I used too much black. And so what I did when I made these was put the black drizzled down in the mold first and then put white on top of it. So this time I'm going to try, I did the top off the top on both sides. This time I'm going to try and put the white down. Oh, well, I'm not going to try. I'm going to put the white down first. I'm not in the camera. I'm going to put the white down first and then drizzle with black and then use blow gun, blow gun, blow dryer, heat gun is what I was trying to say and see if I can move the resin to make the marble effect. Take you on down. So, camera's crooked. I've already mixed up the resin and I put pearl white in this one and I've already got it in the mold. So I used the mica powder and white and then I put some white acrylic paint in that little bit of resin and poured it in here. I got just a little bit left. Let's see, put it in one of these. It doesn't have that much. Use it up and then I'm just going to drizzle the black in there. Just a little bit of black. Try not to use too much and see if I can accomplish a marble effect. Well, there's not much in this one. Let me see. Always keep baby wipes when you're working with resin. Clean your gloves up and your little spills. Okay. So I've mixed up the black. And it's a pearl, it's a pearl black. I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of dark charcoal. And what I used was a charcoal, I believe it's called charcoal. I don't have my glasses, I do have my glasses on, but I can't see. This uh, mica powder. I used a few drops of, the, drops of this uh, resin pigment in black and then a little bit of black acrylic paint to come up with that color. So I want to carefully drop this in here. I don't want to use too much to see if I can uh, get what I'm looking for, get the results. I'm just going to drip a little bit in each one. And then I, ha I haven't used the heat gun to do this. I'm going to see if the heat gun will move the resin and blend it together. If not, I'm going to have to step away. I'll put you on pause and go get my blow dryer. To mix and blend the resin colors. Don't put too much in there. Yeah, it might 
look better if I drizzle it. Maybe. I just don't want to put too much black because you can always add more, but you can't take it out. All right. I don't need to. Okay. So that's what I have. Move it around. Let me see how this heat gun works. No, it doesn't blow it like a blow dryer. It does not work like a blow dryer. So let me get my uh, blow dryer. And with this resin, you have a good little work time of about half hour to 40, 40, 45 minutes. So you have play time with it. But hold on one second, I'll be right back. This is working out a lot better, much better. It's uh it's looking marvelous, <laughs> if that's a word. So I think what I'm going to do now is mix up more white and pour over the top of this. And then maybe... Actually, I'll be back later. Nope, I'm going to let this sit and, and, and firm up. So that this part doesn't move and then I'll mix more white and put over the top. One more thing. This is something else I do. I take the baby white and these drizzles that are on the mold. I just get them up with the baby white as best I can. And that way you don't have that much cleanup when you're all done. Cleaning up of your mold. Alright, we'll be back when this dries and I add a coat on top. Same video, different day. I let these sit overnight. I didn't have to wait that long, but I was doing other things. So they're all set, and I'm going to, uh, I've mixed up some more pearl white. I'll put some on the top of each one of these, and maybe put a little more black on top of it to um, see if I can get a little more effect of the uh, marbling. But I want to cover this part up since it's set so that it's not disturbed. I don't want any more black on that portion of the domino. And I'm not sure if I made up enough. But we're going to see. So I'm just topping them off with just a little bit to cover the black. Probably don't have enough, but I'm sure gonna try and make it work for right now just to cover this this black marbling so I don't mess it up when I add more black to the top of this.
Okay, looks like I got enough. Just enough. I'll let this sit up and get tacky. Maybe for about an hour so it can get a little thicker. And then I'm going to add a few drops, a few drizzles of the black. And then again, I might not even add any black top it off with a clear coat and be done with them. We'll see. I'm going to let them sit up for a little bit. And see how it goes. These have set up for a couple hours, so I'm just going to top them off with a clear, a clear coat. Let them set overnight and unmold, demold them tomorrow. I'm going to try and just pour it out and not overflow, hopefully. I could get my, but I didn't bring it down here with me, my syringe, so that I could be a little more accurate, but I'm just going to try real hard to pour this in here without overflowing. And if they overflow after they dry, you know, you can clean up the edges. Oh, hold on. Always when you're trying to videotape. I'm going to have to call them back. Okay, where was I? Right here. have a steady hand with this way but my hand ain't all that steady I should have got my syringe but let me take my time and fill these up and I won't keep you on all this time to watch me fill these up I'll bring you back I'm just gonna do this row And they're looking good, so I'm thinking I have got the effect that I've been looking for. I certainly hope so. If you go slow, you won't overfill them. Alright, one more, and I'll 
come back to show you the final results. Okay, get this last one over here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish them off and I'll either see you this evening or I'll see you tomorrow when I get done.